Holy crap, cannot feel my hand. Why do I never wear gloves? I have arm warmers, but those things never have fingers. What the crap? You know what it is? I don't like having my finger tips covered because I feel like I can't touch things and properly. Like, I need to be able to feel texture and I can't grip them or pick them up right. Oh my god. This is technically Wednesday's video because, again, I let myself get too crazy busy and did not have time to stop and make a video for Wednesday. But that's okay. Let's just do this double time. I totally passed out like boom. Today I really want to briefly touch on something um, which I am learning myself. You know they say never work for free? Um, I kind of want to talk to everyone out there who owns an Etsy store or honestly kind of what I do but not. Don't worry I'm not going to start charging for vlogs. I'm just looking into Patreon which if you haven't checked it out you should go do so. The reason for this is one, some some friends have expressed how much they love it and how great it's been for them so far. Two, fans have expressed a need to, I want to help out more. And three, with the stuff that's going on at home and the fact that vlog stuff, cameras are expensive and lighting is expensive and student loans are horrible and I'd really like to take up voice lessons again. So that's essentially where I'm coming from on this, but don't worry, I mean, I'm still investigating, and again, most of the content will still be free. If you don't know what Patreon is, please go look it up and investigate, see what people are doing. You'll realize it's, it's kind of like a long-term Kickstarter. I'll talk about it another time, because really that's not the point right now. So that's my own discovery of realizing, oh, what I do is actually worth something. However, what I really want to talk to about is, is people who say own an Etsy store. Guys, you put a lot of time and effort into stuff. Stop underselling it. Um, I saw a comment the other day about um, a necklace and it's like, oh, that's way too expensive. I could pay like 20 bucks for that on Etsy rather than, I think they were asking for 50. They were asking for 50 because it was a, it's high quality metal. It's handmade. <laughs> I'm like, there's a reason it's that expensive. It's quality. And so what I guess I want to say is, and every now and then I'll run across someone like at a, at a con who's like, I feel pricing things appropriately and it just makes me sad. It makes me happy because I'm like, thank you for having self-worth for what you do and your product. Because frankly, I don't know about you, I am, I am willing to pay more money for a quality product. I feel the same way about my food, my, yeah, my food, I was gonna say clothing, but for some reason food came out. That is a very obvious point that food is far more important to me than clothing. Uh, my food, my clothing, my shoes, quality means it's not gonna fall apart on me. Quality means it's gonna last. Quality means it's not gonna give me a weird rash if I put it on, or et cetera, et cetera. You get the idea. So my message to you today, and by today I mean my message to you Wednesday, because the reason I didn't have time is I went and hung out with my friend Molly at a fantastic place called Cafe Mox. If you've never been there and you go to Seattle, go. It's lovely. Best grilled cheese sandwiches ever. Totally worth the horrible intestine pain. And like, they're not super fancy. They're just really like, like what I used to make when I was a kid and I don't make grilled cheese sandwiches anymore because I have no reason to have bread or cheese in my house anymore. So just every now and then I wanna, if I wanna be a little cheat, I go to Cafe Mox and have their amazing grilled cheese sandwiches. They're so good, oh my God, get them with American cheese. I know that sounds weird, but trust me on it. It's really good. Right. Point is, creators, you are worth something and what you're making is worth something and don't ever sell yourself short because you may think that, oh, well, for now, but the problem is, is by selling yourself short, not only are you hurting yourself, you're actually hurting your fellow creators by getting people accustomed to the idea of your work isn't worth it. So other people's work won't be worth it. It sounds weird, but it's this weird, it, uh, I use the word weird a lot. I just woke up, I haven't had coffee, I'm about to drive to work, but that's essentially my point is you're worth something and what you make is worth something and you're fantastic and amazing and power to the creators and I'm excited about what the future brings, holds both of those things. Oh, and on a side note, and I talked about this a little bit on my Patreon, on my, on my Patreon, on my Facebook, um, regarding Patreon, 
go check it out. And what I'd really like you guys to do is check out what people are offering for exclusive content and milestones. I would love to hear what you might possibly be interested in for those. Not saying I'm going to do it yet. I'm just, I'm in my investigation phase. And for that, I need to figure out what I would even be offering you guys for exclusive content anyway. And we're talking like $1 a month. So again, don't panic. And again, it won't be this like these, these will not, I'm not going to put on paid only. And it would probably be like a monthly thing. So $1 a month is basically what you'd be looking at if you want to even help me out a little. So again, look at those. Let me know if there's something that you're like, oh, I'd love to see Kiri do more of this, or I'd love to see this that would be good for patron exclusives. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's what's going on right now. I'm investigating that. I will talk to you guys later today because again, I'm behind on my vlogs. Oh, and we have a live stream tonight because it's Thursday. Um, more info about that to come because we're still kind of up in the air about a, a plan with that. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. My, have, I have feeling back in my hands, so I'm ready to drive. And, ah, to work we go and to get coffee.